Hello friends. So unlike the last video where we extracted data for just one stock, in this video we'll see how we can extract data for a number of stocks programmatically. And this is the problem that you will uh, need to solve when you are working on pretty much any algorithm because uh, you will need to analyze data from a number of stocks before making a trading decisions that's typical for uh, a trading algorithm so it's very important that you get a fairly good understanding of how we can extract data of number of stocks uh, at one go right so uh, you will see that this code is a bit busy compared to the previous video where we just had one line of code which was this line and we extracted uh, uh, the the data for that particular stock but this uh, script like you see is a bit busy and that's uh, because uh, we have to get around the possibility of the api connection failing for one of those stickers so for example if you if your script uh, makes an api call for the first uh, ticker in the list it may be a successful connection and you may get uh, the data it uh, again uh, the api connection may be successful for second stock third stock and so on but if you come to say the fifth or sixth stock the api st connection may fail and if that happens the connection shuts down and uh, your entire algorithm fails your your algorithm breaks down and then you you end up with having uh, data for five or six stocks which is not an ideal outcome right so to get around this, we use an exception handling methodology. I use the try except exceptional handling. You can use uh, other exception handling uh, method uh, uh, used in Python if you feel like, but uh, it, I am more comfortable with try except, so I use that. So by using exceptional handling, what we are essentially doing is that if there is an if if uh, there is a connection problem of the or there is any issue with one particular stocks api connection call it ignores that particular uh, your your algorithm ignores that particular stock and keeps moving forward right so by doing that we get around the problem of uh, api uh, you know connect connection failure for some of the stocks that you may encounter right but it does not solve the entire problem because uh, say you get uh, the connection problem for eight or nine stock out of uh, the 50 stocks uh, in your list right that means uh, you you still don't have uh, data for eight of those stocks after the first pass through and that's that's not an ideal outcome because you want data for all the stocks so what do we do we uh, we, we we make a second pass through and then we try to get information for those stocks uh, that uh, we could not get data for in the first pass through, right? So that's in a, in a nutshell what I'm trying to do here. Uh, it's a long code to get around a small technical problem, but this technical problem you face quite often uh, with Pandas Data Reader, and that's why I wanted to take you through how I get around that problem, right? So if you see here, I have stored the stocks that I want to extract the data for for for, for in uh, in uh, in this list called tickers, right? And then uh, I am storing, uh, so I am declaring an empty data frame uh, where I will store the information for all these stocks. Uh, if you're not familiar with data frames, uh, Pandas data frame, I would strongly urge you to get a, f a fairly thorough understanding of data frame because we'll be using them extensively to store information. Uh, data frame is a very flexible, uh, uh, it's, it's, it, 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 it's very flexible and it provides uh, a lot of functions that you can apply uh, when you store data in a data frame, which makes uh, your job, your life really easy. So I would strongly urge you to get a very good understanding of Pandas data frame, right? So I am declaring an empty data frame where I'll be storing information from all these stocks, right? Uh, again, this attempt is, uh, I'm initializing a variable and uh, 
this attempt is the number of pass throughs I will make uh, to um, just to make sure that I get information for all the stocks that I intend to get the information for right and this drop is an empty list which I have created where I will store uh, any stock that successfully connected and for which we successfully got the data I will take that ticker out of the initial list and put it in this drop list right and I do this because uh, in the subsequent pass throughs we want to extract data for only those stocks that failed in the previous pass through right and that is something that I'm doing here if you look uh, at this line of code within the while loop this is what I am doing so th that's why I like Python so much because uh, you can do fairly complicated tasks in, in in just one or two lines of code so what I'm doing here is that I'm saying if if the ticker is not in drop only then put it in tickers right so uh, if you see this if you go through this code you will see that uh, in case of a successful API call I am getting the data I, I do get the OHLCV data then I just take out the close price uh, from that OHLCV data and I append that to the stock CP empty data frame that we initialized uh, at the beginning of the loop and then we put the close data there right and the last line within the try block is that I append that particular ticker which had a successful connection and for which we were able to get the data into the drop list right so what happens that this drop list gets populated as we as the loop proceeds through the initial list and um, then it is left so so then the drop list list is populated with all the successful calls so in the next pass through when it goes to this line of code the tickers list will have only the only the tickers which are not in the drop list which we just populated right so for example if there are 40 successful calls out of the 50 tickers that we initially intended to get data for in the second pass through the tickers uh, list will have only 10 stocks for which the API failed right so again uh, I would urge you to go through this code uh, uh, again and if you have any questions post it in the Q&A section and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions but in a nutshell what we are doing here is that we take all the equities uh, that we want to get data for in a list right then we uh, run a loop wherein we get extract wherein we try to, to extract data for every single stop every single stock and uh, we we put we use an exception handling technique to uh, not to kind of get around the problem of uh, the api connection failing for some of the stocks within the initial list of stocks uh, that we had and uh, and just uh, keep going until we reach the end of the loop and then go back and uh, rerun that loop for all the stickers for which we had an unsuccessful run right and this continues until we get information for all the stocks or we over we overrun uh, the number of attempts that we initially uh, uh, declared right so uh, it, it's all uh, like uh, yeah i mean it's uh, all very good uh, but let me run it and i think then you'll be able to appreciate uh, what i'm trying to do here so i'll run it and then uh, i'll take you through the log of uh, what what's happening and that's when i'll be able to give you a better understanding or be, give better explanation of what's happening right I have put uh, uh, a lot of commands in the code so when the code runs and there is a problem we'll see uh, that there is is a failure and then that will make things more easy so I have run the code it will take some time to run so I am forwarding this video
Okay, friends, so the script has run and it took around uh, two or three minutes to uh, run. So um, I'll just uh, take you through the log. So this is the log. And if you see uh, in the first pass through, uh, all these stocks did not run, right? So all the way till TCS. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine stocks failed in the first pass through, right? And uh, so in the second pass through, uh, the same script, the, the loop was run for only these nine stocks. And again, there was a problem with IOC, right? It's one of these nine stocks. So in the second pass through, we were able to get uh, information for the remaining eight stocks out of the nine and in the third pass through we were able to get information for ioc as well right uh so and if you look at the the stock cp data frame uh let's see and you can see that we have been able to get the information the close price for all the 50 tickers that we intended to do right it uh, so this takes some time uh, in my case it took around two to three minutes so each ticker takes around 20 seconds to extract data so uh, if when you run the script you can go and just you know just just have a small walk and come back and it should be ready with all the data so that's it uh, for this video so i'll see you in the next video